how in the world do you crate train a puppy? Yeti and I are going to talk about that on today's Yeti Splice. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell notification, check out our links down below, and be sure to, to comment because Yeti loves hearing your comments. When we first got Yeti, Yeti was crate trained because that's the best way to potty train them. It's also the best way to prevent them from being destructive. Dogs and puppies feel more confident and more secure in a small enclosed space, which is why you will often find a puppy or a big dog laying underneath your bed if they're small enough to be able to fit, why they lay in corners, and why they like hanging out underneath your dining room table. Dogs and puppies love those small spaces. It makes them feel secure. So you start crate training the day you bring your puppy home. In fact, if you have a car that's big enough to be able to fit the crate in the back of the car, you'll wanna bring one along in the car while you bring your puppy home. Before you have your puppy go into their crate, for the nighttime. You're gonna get them used to it during the daytime. So then that way they're not scared of the crate. Introduce your puppy that very first day to their crate by leaving the crate door open. Wander over to the crate with your puppy, leaving the crate open, and encourage your dog, your puppy, your brand new cute little puppy to go inside by using a treat or their favorite toy. And what you do is like Yeti here. He loves treats. You're going to take the treat and you're going to walk the treat over to his crate. But you're going to use that treat to lure your pet inside of the crate, leaving the door open, and then when your pet gets inside of the crate, you'll give the dog the treat and pet them and say, good boy, good boy, Yeti, that's a good boy. And then you'll leave the door open. Leaving the door open is important. When your dog goes inside of the crate, you'll lavish them with all types of praise. Do this a few times with the crate door open. Next, you'll leave the crate door open. Encourage your puppy to wander inside the crate with a treat and with a toy. Then you'll place the treat and toy on the floor. While your dog walks in, you'll say, good boy, good boy, good boy, pet them and make them so happy and thrilled that they did the right thing. And then you'll walk away leaving the crate door open with your puppy in the crate. Do this a few times. Next, you'll try to close the crate door. So you'll lure your dog inside the crate using their toy and using a treat. And then the moment they get inside the crate, you'll just close the gate, you won't lock it, and then you'll walk away. And then after a few moments, you'll let your dog out and lavish with praise. Good boy, good boy, good boy. You'll do this a few more times. Once you're ready to have your dog in the crate for the night, or if you have to go to work, or if you have to run to the grocery store or run some errands around town, you will put your dog into the crate just like you practiced earlier in the day, although you won't use a favorite toy this time. You'll just use the treat. You'll lure your dog into the crate using a treat, lavish them with praise, give them the treat, close the gate, lock the gate, and walk away. The first few times they've been left by themselves in that crate, they might get a little bit scared just because they're new puppies and the crate is new to them. The whole experience of being in this new house is completely new to them. First few nights, of course, they're gonna keep you up with their crying. Just let them cry. And then after a few nights, they will do better. They will be more comfortable in their crate overnight and while you're not there. The moment you let them out of their crate, you're gonna bring them outside right away and lavish them with tons of praise after they do their job, after they've been in their crate all night. And before too long, your dog will be really comfortable in that crate when overnight or when you're not there during the day. They will feel safe and secure and they will consider that to be their house. When we first got Yeti, Yeti stayed in his crate overnight. We tried keeping him in the bedroom. It was really warm in there so he was panting a lot and he was shaking the whole crate while he was panting. And so the noise just got to be too much for us to, to comfortably tolerate and for us to be able to sleep. So Yeti was eventually moved out to our family room area in the crate where he slept overnight with a light on. Yet he still sleeps out there to this day because in the winter time, it gets kind of cold so there's a draft that comes underneath and it's perfect temperature for Yeti. And then once he was potty trained, once he stopped eating stuff in our house, then we let him out of his crate for overnight and he did wonderfully. And now he's left out of his crate while we go to work during the day and he does great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.